it's Mina. Sorry about the lighting. It's like 10 o'clock at night. So today in this video, I'm going to do the top 10 most annoying things that happened to me. Now, this will be a long video because I have a story for each one of these um, top 10 things that have happened to me. Most annoying things that have happened to me. So these are things that I personally find annoying that have happened to me in the past. And I swore to myself I would never make that mistake again. So, um... Yeah, so I think it's really nice to, like, hear about, like, mistakes and then how you won't make them again. Again, and, um, I think it's a really good idea, too, that we all learn from our mistakes. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. So, number one, I had to be getting locked out of the house. Okay, so for those who don't know, I have a backyard. Yard. If you guys didn't see my backyard tour, then you should check it out on my channel. I will probably have a, I think I'll have a link to it in the description box down below if you're interested in that video. Anyway, for those who don't know, I have a door that goes um, out to my backyard and um, when the knob thingy is turned up, that means um, it will, um, the little knob thingy in the middle of the knob is turned up and the door will, the door on the outside will lock. <laughs> lock and you'll get trapped in the deck. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Something, so yeah. Um, I will link my backyard tour if you guys are interested in that video. So when I get started, so this all ha this happened to me like probably like three times. And actually it just happened to me recently. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay, and this actually happened to me recently yesterday. They at work. I'm going to tell you guys a story in a little bit. That story in a little bit, too. This will be probably along with this story. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So one day, I was, um, one morning, I was um, getting all my dogs in because they were all sitting outside and they were freezing. And then suddenly, um, I forgot to check the little knob thingy that's in the middle of the knob that locks your door, the door. And um, back then, I didn't have a doggy door, so I couldn't crawl in. And the door suddenly... Um, closed shut on me and I couldn't get in the house. I'm like, holy guacamole, how do I get in? So I tried the bathroom door, it was locked, and then I started knocking on my mom's door and I accidentally woke her up because her door goes out to the deck as well in my backyard. And um, she had to wake up to, um, to let me in. And then it happened to me a second time and one night, night when, the second time that night, and then I had to get into my mom's room again. So I learned from that mistake that I have to um, start um, making sure that the knob is turned sideways and not up. And then one time when I was getting all my um, dogs in the... When I was getting all my dogs in... Then I the door slammed shut on me and I realized I couldn't get in. I'm like, oh, great. Okay, and I was stuck outside. I'm like, holy guacamole, how do I get back in? So I tried that that door. So I tried getting in through through the back. Um, so I tried getting in through the bathroom door because our bathroom door also goes out to the deck. Deck, but I couldn't get in because the door is locked. And then I tried my mom's door door because, but my mom's and I just mentioned this now that my mom's room also um, goes to the. My, the door, a door outside my mom's room also goes to the backyard and I couldn't get in. So then I had to climb over the fence and then try to get in through the, through the, um, front, front door, but the front door was locked too. So I had to sit outside for probably about two or five minutes until my mom got home. And then suddenly my mom comes home she's like, what are you doing outside? I'm like, I got locked out of the house. House. <laughs> Oh, so that's no fun. And then one time, my I had the worst day of school ever. I was so frustrated. For those who don't know, I cry when I get frustrated. Okay, because my door was stuck. Because sometimes my front door sticks. And I couldn't get into the house. Because the front door was stuck. So I was going to try to unlock it. But I couldn't get the door to open. And then I tried getting in through the back door. I still couldn't get in. And then I had to knock on the door for my brother to let me in. So that was kind of annoying. <laughs> Knowing I tried every door. <laughs> Number two would have to be not having any money for the bus. Now, for those who don't know, I take a public bus and I usually cost two dollars. But since I have a card, I'm not going to show it. Just show you the card just for safety purposes. I have a certain kind of card to get on the bus, and it um 
and I only have to pay a dollar. Well, one day I thought I had enough money, but it turns out I didn't, and I was so irritated because I forgot to ask for bus money, but I didn't even know I was running low on bus money. Anyway, then my, um, then my brother, and my day gets worse because my brother can't drive me because he's sick. Sick, and my brother used to drive me to volunteer. And I had to call my volunteer place to let him know I wasn't coming in because I didn't have a ride to, because I didn't have a ride or any money to take the bus. So I had no way to get there. Well, we were, out there we were doing something and then the rest but the rest of my day was good I met them downtown to do some help for my little fundraiser thing and then number two and then second of all I couldn't find my wallet so I was frustrated but my mom ended up finding it so that was the worst day ever number three on my list I had to be going to school on a Saturday now, this is kind of funny at the same time, kind of annoying. So, when I was a sophomore more in high school, I was totally screwed up because I forgot we had it, because I forgot to cross off the day on my calendar, or I don't know what was up. I just totally got my days screwed up at school. This is when I was a sophomore in high school. I got my days screwed up at school, and um, I got for. And I thought I was late for school, so I went over to my friend's house because I used to walk with him to school, school on the weekends, and we would have a lot of fun. But um, he wasn't; nobody was answering their door. And then I went over to school, school, and I sat there for like two hours. And then, whereas, <laughs> and then I didn't know it was a Saturday until the janitor told me. So I went all the way home, um, and my mom came home. Mom came up and was crying and hugging me. Me. My dad was over too. For those who don't know, my parents are divorced, and my and I was like, my mom's like, like where were you been all day? I'm like I was at school. She's like on a Saturday, and she, how did you know it was a Saturday? I'm like the janitor told me, <laughs> the custodian told me, and she's like okay. <laughs> and it was kind of annoying at the same time, kind of funny. Number four, my lesson had to be getting locked out of my room. So this happened um, a couple years ago. So one time I was cleaning my room with my sister and a friend. This was back when we shared the room. And she and her friends were cleaning my room, for helping me clean the room. And um, I, when I opened the door, <laughs> door, I accidentally hit my sister's friend's toe with the door. And I told her I was sorry. And then suddenly they pull, they start teasing me by locking me out of the room. Room and I'm like, let me in, please. And they're like, no, let me in, let me in. And I was like getting so irritated that I started to yell at them to let me in. And I was getting so frustrated that my mom had to call us all downstairs. There, so that was kind of annoying. I hate getting when I get locked out of my room <laughs> and stuff. So this is when I shared my room with my sister. Sister, she and her friends like pulled a little teasing prank on me when we were little. <laughs> so I know, yeah, I hate. For those who don't know, I have a learning disability, so sometimes I get mad when people tease. Number five on my list, I have to be getting on the wrong bus. Now, okay, so one time I was supposed to go with my group to volunteer at a place to wrap presents for people who couldn't afford gifts. So we do a lot of volunteer work for the community. And um, we accidentally got the wrong, we got on the wrong bus to the, we got in the right city. I mean, okay, so we got on the bus to the right city, and but we forgot to ask the bus driver if the bus stopped where we wanted to go, and the bus driver said he didn't stop where he wanted us to go, where we wanted to go, and we were kind of annoyed, so we then we had to get off the bus and then wait an hour for another bus. For those who don't know, um, in my area, the buses run like every hour, pretty much. That's what we ended up getting there in time. We thought we were going to be late. Number seven would have to be being late for work. Work. Now, I hate being late for those who don't know. I was late for work one day because I was watching YouTube videos and I lost track of, track of time. Time, and I was like, where? And I had to call my manager to let him know I was running late, and I'm surprised, and that was my second time being late for work, and I'm surprised I wasn't late. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody was mad at me for being late. <laughs> like, well, because I'm never usually late. <laughs> number eight, 
Number eight on my list would have to be hard drive crashing. Now, for those who don't know, I also have a MacBook computer. Sorry, this video is getting long. So this happened my senior year in high school. One time I was on my computer. I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was watching cartoons on YouTube or something. Then suddenly my full, a little file with a question mark comes up and it's saying my hard drive crashed. And I was like, oh no, what in the world is going on? And at that time my computer was like five years old. I think, I don't know how old my computer is now. That was my MacBook. I actually have my MacBook down on my little, um... Thing right there but I don't really use it anymore so yeah um my hard drive crashed and then I had to go um get it um then I had to wait a month to get it fixed <laughs> I didn't have my computer for like for a whole month and then what was annoying was after they fixed my hard drive I got every I lost everything on my computer computer so I had to go and retype everything all my work which was kind of annoying the reason it was, my hard drive crashed is because I accidentally uploaded too many songs to my iTunes playlist. So if you guys ever have a MacBook, here's a good tip. You never want to add too many songs to your playlist. Playlist, because that hard, crashes your hard drive. Number nine on my list would have to be my computer freezing. Now, back in, I can't remember, I think it was a couple months ago, um, I was having the strangest problems where my computer would freeze when I'd be watching YouTube videos or I'd be on, like, any kind of, what, or I'd be on, like, the internet or be stuck on Google images and stuff, um, stuff, and I'd be trapped on, and I'd get stuck on a website, and I was freaking out, and I'm like, what's going on? my computer and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on like it would freeze when I'd be watching YouTube videos like it would go sound like a broken record and then um my um I get stuck online and I get stuck on all my um documents my Google Docs I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on and then I found out that as I was playing Facebook games they were causing my computer to freeze freeze so yeah that's a good tip if you guys have a Google Chromebook never play Facebook on the but games on that thing because those things cause your computer to freeze. So yeah, I found out what the COVID problem was, was that the Facebook games were causing my computer and then my computer stopped freezing after I stopped playing and blocked the Facebook games. Number 10 on my list would be getting the wrong bus schedule. Now, one time my mom and I were helping, my mom was helping me look at bus schedules to get home and uh, to get to volunteer. And, um, I couldn't, I was having a hard time figuring out what bus would get me there, me there early enough. So my mom helped me and she accidentally got me the wrong time to leave. And, um, I was waiting for the bus and I was stuck at the bus stop for like almost an hour. For, and I was crying because I was going to be late and I was like, and I don't like being late for those who don't know. And then, so I ended up going, calling the person who runs my volunteer and then I ended up going home and then... What was nice was my roommate at the time drove me to volunteer and stuff. It was like um, really nice of him because he felt sorry for me. And then um, I had to call my mom and tell her what happened and my mom's like, that's, my mom was confused and then she's like, apologized because she realized she accidentally read the times wrong. And yeah, it was both our faults because we both got confused at the times. <laughs> Okay, so those are my top ten, that was my video, my top ten most annoying things that have happened to me. I'm sorry this video was so long, it's just I had so much to talk about. Anyway, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!